I caught that, Grant. You weren't paying attention, and uh, that is duly noted. All right, let's uh, get down to business here. 20 games left in the regular season. The trade deadline has come and passed, and now this is the group that will finish it off here for the Calgary Flames, and looking forward to it as we welcome you to the pregame show, brought to you by Budweiser, and get you set for a matchup here on home ice this evening because the Calgary Flames now open up six consecutive games right here at the Scotiabank Saddledome. It starts tonight with the Sharks, who come in having snapped their three-game losing skid that was on Sunday night a victory there seventh in the Pacific Division however they have won the prior two meetings of the season against the Calgary Flames something this group has not forgotten the Calgary Flames played their final road game of the month and that was on Saturday a convincing victory over the Vancouver Canucks 5-2 uh, in that one and as mentioned six game homestand opens tonight here against the Sharks and it's a group looking forward to the final stretch run starting this evening. Yesterday, I don't think guys were too worried. I think it was a pretty calm day for us. I think uh, uh, Brad made some great moves earlier uh, prior to it. So I think he, you know, it's exciting what we brought in. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's nice to be set in stone and what we have and, and move forward and really build from it. Tree's done a great job bringing in Cali and, and Toff. And, you know, their impacts have been pretty immediate for us. So, uh, so far, so good. And, um, you know, I think everybody in our room would tell you we like our group and we're excited about uh, you know the opportunity ahead. Uh, the way that we're playing right now, we're, we're playing as a team, playing as a group, um, and you can see it and you can feel the energy in the locker room when uh, when we're on our game. It's you know we're a tough team to beat. I heard from a couple of guys. Well, on Saturday night, the uh, Calgary Flames shifting all four of their forward lines. Something new, a new look, and expecting to see that exact same uh, line combinations rolled out again here tonight against San Jose. Uh, versatility, flexibility, that's what uh, the coaching staff gets with this current lineup. Yeah, they're great hockey players. Um, obviously, Johnny is one of the best players in the league. Uh, extremely skilled. And Lindy definitely doesn't get credit for the, uh, the type of hockey he plays. So being with them, you just try and get open and uh, make some plays. Yeah, it's good. It's big for us, I think, uh, to have that, especially, you know, this time of the year. It's guys get worn down, bodies start to hurt. So to have, that, uh, have that depth and know with, uh, with Rich, too, to have, you know, guys who can come in the lineup at any time. Um, you know, guys can go from our top line to our fourth line, so it's, uh, it's a deep team, which is which which is what you really want. It's good to be versatile, uh, so, you know, give a different look to teams, uh, you know, have players that are able to play uh, center and move to the wings. Uh, and like you say, you know, if, you know, uh, different games, you know, just to show a different look. Uh, so, you know, we tried it, you know, over 82 games, you really need to change things up sometimes and just give, uh, for, even for the players, you know, just uh, uh, the mindset of doing something different and uh, get out of certain habits and that. And so, I, it, you know, it worked. And, uh, you know, I thought we, you know, we had a strong game in Vancouver and we just got to build on that one. Here's a look at who to watch tonight for the Sharks. Their second leading scorer, Tomas Hurdle, fresh off a new eight-year contract extension signed last week with the San Jose Sharks. 25 goals and 49 points on the season, but he's got seven in his last six games. And for the Calgary Flames, a man who continues uh, his career-high point total, that's defenseman Rasmus Anderson, now up to 39 on the season, leads all Flames defensemen coming off his third multi-point game in the last six. It was also career point number 100 and 101 in his NHL career. So a nice little milestone for number four. In terms of uh, transactions on actual trade deadline day, there was a pair of them for the Calgary Flames. Goaltender Michael McNiven recently acquired. He was sent to Ottawa in exchange for future considerations and then bringing in forward Ryan Carpenter. Here's general manager Brad Tree living on the new acquisition. You know, Ryan's a guy we liked a lot. Um, I think he fits the style we play. He's a north-south player. Um, you know, an excellent penalty killer. He plays hard. Um, you know, he's he's got some sandpaper to his game, and and I think he'll fit in with well with us. But I wasn't I wasn't we didn't have to go and be real active today just to say we were active on trade deadline day. We did a lot of the a lot of the work here, you know, in the last couple of weeks. Carpenter was uh, due to arrive here in Calgary this evening, so obviously not an option to be in the lineup here tonight to get our first chance potentially to see him in a Calgary Flames uniform at some point this weekend. All right, we'll step aside when we return. A conversation with Flames defenseman Nikita Zadorov next. 
All of us here at Calgary Sports and Entertainment are thrilled to welcome you to the Scotiabank Saddle Dome and would like to share some important updates and reminders. Face coverings are no longer required at the Scotiabank Saddle Dome. However, we recognize there are varying levels of comfort with this change. We respect everyone's right to make this personal choice and appreciate that some patrons and staff may prefer to continue wearing face coverings. Additionally, no one ever wants to miss a game, but we do ask that you please stay home if you're feeling unwell. The Scotiabank Saddle Dome has a zero tolerance policy for foul or inappropriate behavior, along with any disruption of the game, including throwing objects, fighting, or trespassing on the ice surface. Under some circumstances, the puck may be propelled into the spectator area with enough force to cause serious injury. If you are struck, immediately ask the nearest usher for help and directions to the medical station. Perhaps most importantly, please make sure you are kind and respectful to one another, as well as the venue staff who are working hard to ensure the best possible experience for our patrons. If you have any questions about any of these important updates and reminders, please don't hesitate to contact a venue representative or Calgary Flames customer service. You can also report any issue or ask a question by texting us your seat location along with your question and the word S-Dome to 587-327-2207 to reach our fan text line. We greatly appreciate your support and understanding. Together, we can enjoy a safe and fun experience here in the Scotiabank Settled Dome. All right, time for Need to Know ahead of this uh, Sharks-Flames matchup here tonight. Matthew Gachuk, 11 three-plus point games this season. The latest was Saturday night in Vancouver. We mentioned Carpenter and the new acquisition for the Calgary Flames. Well, he actually spent the, uh, the first three seasons of his NHL career as a member of the San Jose Sharks. And finally, Johnny Gaudreau, third time in his career in the National Hockey League, hitting the 80-point mark. He is on that number as it stands right now, 80 on the season. First of all, maybe just a thought as we finish with trade deadline. And for a group that's you know now settled, um, as you kind of look at the final 20 games, what does it mean when you, you look around, you know this is, this is the, the group that's going to go here the rest of the season? No, for sure. I think our management did a great job. Um, add a couple of pieces to our team. I think um, you can ask every guy in the room. You know, we're super exciting. We're all ready to roll. I think it's a great group of guys inside the dressing room. That's the main thing. And we all all in on it as well. And, and over the last few days, guys have talked a lot about chemistry, and I know that that's kind of a, it's a hard thing to put your finger on a lot of times. Um, how would you describe it, what you have in this room, and maybe how it's compared to some other teams you've been on? No, I think chemistry is definitely on a high, really high level in here. You know, all the guys are committed. Uh, you know, we have a great coach and stuff. They uh, pretty much uh, putting everything on the line for us for every game, you know, what we should do, which, uh, how we should play and everything, and every guy, like, show, like, maximum committed in that. Yeah. So that's the biggest thing as the chemistry, you know, and the winning obviously helps, you know. Sure. We've been winning a lot, you know, it's exciting. Uh, there's lots of winners in this team. Everybody's hate losing, so this is definitely mentality for us until the rest of the a year in the playoffs. 20 games left in this regular season. It's kind of crazy how fast it goes by, but you look at the start of a six-game homestand here tonight. Uh, the record speaks for itself here as of late at the Saddle Dome. Um, what about the opportunity here, though, to, again, establish what you've already put in place here uh, on home ice? No, for sure. Home ice is super important, especially for playoffs. Uh, I mean, we... We were talking inside the dressing room, like not losing any home games, you know, if we can, you know. Yeah. So I think that's a definitely we need to take advantage of the home ice. We, we love to play in Saddle. I personally love to play in Saddle. It's a great building, you know, it's older. It has a little bit of character in yeah. there. We have a great fence in here, so it's definitely always exciting to have a game at home. Uh, one last one for you. That's a divisional opponent here tonight. Obviously, you know, a little bit separation in the standings, but I would assume, you know, that's a goal to make sure it stays that way and, uh, you know, make sure you're playing well against these division teams as you know you're going to see a bunch of them here down the stretch yeah and then we lost two games to them before that so yeah. we definitely own them uh, and then i mean uh we're gonna win those little series and uh division on like the three four game ones yeah. so definitely a big game for us good stuff appreciate it thanks for uh this and good luck tonight yeah thanks for having me all right here's your look at the starting goaltenders for tonight's uh, matchup uh Maybe not. 
This is a little bit dated there, but I can tell you it'll be uh, James Reimer will get the start for the San Jose Sharks. He's uh, started three of the last four for the San Jose Sharks. First one, though, against Calgary this season. Jacob Markstrom goes for the Calgary Flames. A 49th start on the season in just the second one against San Jose. Dan Vladar got one of those against the Sharks as well. All right, so Markstrom, uh, Reimer uh, for the Sharks as we get set for puck drop coming up next. The Calgary Flames and San Jose Sharks meeting number three of four on the season. It's coming up next. Enjoy the game, everyone. 